So this problem is actually a really good example of what the exam will look like. I will have a problem very similar to this on the exam. So make sure that you really start it. So um, a football coach wants to know what the mean time of his players is of running a mile. So he samples eight of his players since some of them were absent that day and gets the following times in minutes. So these are all the times that each player had of running a mile. So 10 minutes, 8 minutes, so on and so forth. So find a 95% confidence interval estimate for the true mean time of this entire football team. So um, in this case, notice that A, we don't know what X bar is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what S sub X is. That also, I don't know what it is. The problem didn't give it to me. Um, I can try to figure out what T and minus 1 is because I know what N is. N in this case was 10. My degrees of freedom was equal to N minus 1, which gives me 10 minus 1, which is 9. Um, and since we wanted 95% confidence interval, if I go to my T table, that's easy. Here's 95%. I want t uh, degrees of freedom uh, of 9 so 2.262 so this is so t n minus 1 is 2.262 so that was easy i can figure out what t n minus 1 is but what is x bar and what is s sub x well that they didn't give it to me they actually gave me the exact data so i need to use this data to try to figure out what x bar and s sub x is so this is going to be throwback to the first couple of weeks of school so i'm going to go here and what I'm going to do, and you can do this with the TI-36 uh, in the calculator, you can enter your, press your data by in and enter your data. In this particular calculator, um, we want to go ahead and, and, and enter our data into our a um, into our, uh, our graphing calculator. So for this calculator, you're going to press stat and then you're going to go to edit and you're going to enter all of your data here. Okay, so let me delete all of this stuff that I do not need. Um, so if you have the TI-36 calculator, you're going to press data. Okay, and, and then what you're going to do is enter your data. So I'm going to press 10, enter 8, 7, 8, 8, 6, 5, 6. Okay, I think that was it. Yeah. So I hope I got this right. Six, five, six, two, eight, a seven, an eight, and a ten. Okay. So I entered all of my data. Okay. So now if you have the TI-36, after you enter your data, you're going to go to second data, and then you're going to do one variable statistics. Um, for this calculator, you're going to go to stat. You're going to go to calculate and go to one variable statistics here. Okay. So one variable stats. You're going to go all the way down to calculate. Right. And what you're going to get is, is actually what X bar is, which is in this case 7.25. So let me write that down. So X bar in this case is 7.25. And then S sub X in this case, our standard deviation. Let me go back to the rabbit. Okay. Um, S sub X, let me go a little bit down. 1.581. Okay. So this is going to be 1.581. Okay, so there there you have it. So we actually had to put it into our calculator to figure out what the mean was and figure out what the standard deviation was. And now that we have both of those things using our calculator, now we can go ahead and solve. So we want a 95% confidence interval estimate. So we have x bar plus t n minus 1 s over square root of n. x bar in this case is 7.25 plus t n minus 1 gives me 2.262 since this is what we got times s, uh, s is 1.581 divided by the square root of 10. Okay, so let's put this in our calculator. So I'm going to have 7.25 plus 2.262 times 1.581 divided by square root of 10. Um, and what we're going to get is 8.3. Eight. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing, but now with a minus s over square root of n. So 7.25 minus 2.262, 1.581 divided by square root of 10. So I'm going to write exactly the same thing, but now I'm going to change that to a minus. And what am I going to get? I'm going to get uh, 6.12. Okay, so basically my confidence interval estimate was between 6.12 
and 8.38 okay since they don't ask us to interpret it we don't need to interpret it but we can if we want to we are 95 percent confident that the true mean uh time of the entire football team lies between these two numbers between six miles and eight miles uh, i'm sorry six <laughs> six minutes or an eight minutes okay so um if you made it this far um i will tell you what's going to be on the quiz on thursday uh on 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 the quiz um i will um, do it on degrees of freedom, finding what t n minus one is, uh, find, being able to figure out what what the, these t values are, is. So, um, and also uh, there will be probably something with with the central limit theorem. So, usually one of these things. Okay, so maybe scenarios, true and false questions. So, it'll be based on the central limit theorem. Okay, the the um, the scenarios and being able to figure out what t uh, t n minus one is using the t table, and I will give you the t table in class right before the exam. I'm sorry, right before the quiz. So that will be it. All right. Well, um, I'll see you guys on Thursday.